Hi, I'm looking at solving equations with the pronumeral on both sides. So what we're looking at when we've got the pronumeral on both sides, pronumeral, is where there's some sort of an x term on the left side of the equation and, so, and an x term on the right side of the equation. So if we look at our first example, I'm looking at something like 5x plus 12 equals 2x minus 3. So I've got an x over here, and I've got an x over here, and I've got the equal sign in the middle. So we want to look at how we solve this. And to solve these, what we want to do is cancel out one of the x's. I either want to cancel out my 5x, or I want to cancel out my 2x. So I've either got a minus a 2x from both sides, or minus a 5x from both sides to do that cancelling. And the easiest one to pick on is always the smaller pronumeral, the x with the smallest pronumeral. So let's cancel it out. So if I minus 2x here, it means I must minus 2x here. And I'm going to align my cancelling with the terms that have the x's in it, because I know that's where I'm going to be doing my sums. So this gets rid of that 2x. And over here, I've got 5x minus 2x. Well, that's 3x. And then if I write out what's left, I've still got a plus 12. I haven't touched it. And on my right, I've gotten rid of my 2x. So I've just got the minus 3 left. So now I've got another simple two-step equation, and that's all I've got to solve from here. So I've got to cancel out this plus 12, so I'll minus 12 to cancel it, which means I need a minus 12 over here. So it's cancelled, meaning on the left I've got 3x left, and then on the right I've got negative 3 minus 12. Well, that's minus 15, or negative 15. And lastly, I've got my x, which is being multiplied by 3, so I've got to divide by 3 to cancel it out. So I'll divide by 3 over here, cancel out those 3s, x is left, and then on my right, negative 15, divide by 3, well that gives us negative 5. Let's have a look at a second one. So my second one, I've got 7y minus 8 equals 3y plus 9. So the process is exactly the same. I look at my pronumerals. I see I've got 2 and 1 is on either side of our central equal sign. And I've got to cancel 1 out. I'm going to pick on the smaller one because it typically is easier. So I'm going to cancel out my minus 3y. And if I minus 3y here, it means I need a minus 3y over here. So my, my 3y's cancel. 7y take 3y on my left gives us 4y. And what I've got left, I haven't touched. So I haven't touched my minus 8 and I haven't touched my plus 9. So now I've got 3y minus 8 equals positive 9. And cancelling out that minus 8 by adding 8. So those 8s disappear. Means I've got 4y left. Equaling, well, 9 plus 8 is 17. And so now I've just got to cancel out this multiplied by 4. So I'm going to divide by 4 and do it to the other side. So my 4s have cancelled, so I'm left with y. 17 divided by 4, well that's just going to be the fraction 17 over 4, because it doesn't simplify, or if you want the decimal, it's 4.25. So that's that one. Let's have a look at a third one. Let's throw in a few more negatives just to make it a bit more interesting. So if we throw in a third one, which has 14 minus 4d equals 27 plus d. 
So now I've got a negative 4D and a positive 1D. And if I'm going to do my normal trick of picking on the smallest one, not that it really matters, that means I want to cancel out this minus 4D. And I'm going to do that by adding 4D, which means I need a plus 4D over here. So that cancels out my 4Ds. So now that my 4Ds have cancelled, on the left I've got 14 left. On the right I've got 27 left. And I've got to do the sum, D plus 4D. Well that's 1D plus 4D, which means 5D. And on the right I can now start cancelling. I want to get rid of this 27, so I'm going to minus a 27 which means I need a minus 27 over here. So that's going to cancel out those 27s, leaving me on the left, 14 minus 27. Well, that's going to be negative 13. And so negative 13 equals, on the right, we got rid of those 27s, so now I've got 5D left. So I'm going to have 5D. And now I've got to cancel out this multiply by 5, so I'm going to divide by 5, which means I need to divide by 5 over here. So my 5s now cancel. On my left, I've got negative 13 divide 5. Well, that's just going to be negative 13 over 5 as a fraction. On the right, I've got just D left because I cancelled out those 5s, so we got the D. So D equals negative 13 over 5, or if you want the decimal, that's negative 2.6. Let's throw in a last one just to make sure we've got the hang of it all. So my fourth and final is 6 minus 5x equals 7 minus 8x. So now I again have to do some cancelling. I'm going to pick on this negative 8x over here. The opposite of minusing 8x is adding 8x, which means I need an add 8x over here with this x term. So that cancels that out. On my left, that means I've got 6 left. Um, and I've also got minus 5x plus 8x is plus 3x. And on the right, we got rid of these 8x's, so we just have 7 left. So now I can start cancelling stuff out off of my left-hand side. I'm going to get rid of this plus 6 by minusing off uh, 6, not 7. And that means I need a minus 6 over here, so those 6's cancel. And on the left, that means I've got 3x left. Equaling, well, 7 minus 6 is going to be 1. And so lastly, cancelling out this times by 3, I'm going to divide by 3, which means I'm going to have a divide by 3, meaning x is going to be the fraction. 1 divided by 3 is a third, or if you want the decimal, that's 0 0.33 recurring. And there we have it. If you have prone numerals on both sides, the letter is on both sides, then we cancel out one of them by just adding or subtracting it. And that means we're down to our simple two-step solving, and we can do those, and we are done.